Good evening, and welcome to the second annual Carroll County High School Honors Chorus and Visual Arts event. My name is Dr. Jessica Ainsworth, Assistant Superintendent of School Performance. As many of you know, Carroll County Schools has many talented students in the area of arts. We have an outstanding performance today from students attending each of our schools. In the lobby, I hope you were able to observe many of our gifted visual artists. Our art and music programs are a fantastic opportunity to have our students grow and learn. Before we begin our program, let's thank the people that make this event happen. Today could not have been possible with our volunteers. This includes Dr. Leslie Gillis, Dr. Aaron Rice, Ashton Pridgen, and Wanda Cox, our visual artist, the Arts Council of Carroll County, and our many Carroll County art and chorus teachers. Please give a round of applause for all of our volunteers who have given of their time, effort, dedication to make this program a success. To our parents and extended family, thank you for helping to support the next generation of leaders and innovators in the area of arts and music. And a big thank you to everyone who came out tonight to support our premier music and art program in Carroll County. At this time, I would like to present to you the 2019 2020 High School Honors Chorus Performance.
I'm a talker. Uh, I like to talk and I like to sing. Uh, my name is Aaron Rice. I'm director of choral activities at Shorter University in Rome, Georgia. And I'm thrilled to have had the opportunity to work with your students today. They have been tremendous, both with their insight into the music and the poetry and just the esprit de corps that we've had all day. They've been welcoming and warm and have learned so quickly and I'm so proud of them. You are such great folks to have given uh, them so much of who you are. And this next piece is uh, about that. The um, text. The text is uh, from the point of view of someone who pours in to a child. It could be a parent or a grandparent or someone who has taken on the opportunity to care give to a child. It was written by one of the U.S. Poet Laureates. And I want to read the text for you quickly. Now touch the air softly. Step gently, one, two. I'll love you till roses are robin's egg blue. I'll love you till gravel is eaten for bread and lemons are orange and lavender's red. Now touch the air softly, swinging gently the broom. I'll love you till windows are all of a room and the table is laid and the table is bare and the ceiling reposes on bottomless air. I'll love you till heaven rips the stars from his coat and the moon rows away in a glass-bottomed boat and Orion steps down like a diver below and earth is ablaze and ocean aglow. So touch the air softly and swing the broom high. We will dust the gray mountains and sweep the blue sky and I'll love you as long as the furrow the plow and however is ever and ever is now.
Again, I just want to say thanks to Carroll County for hosting us today, particularly to the teachers and the faculty and the administration, and again to you as parents. I can uh, distinctly remember my first all-county honor choir in the eighth grade. My parents didn't have any clue about anything singing. They didn't know anything about it. But uh, they came to my concerts and they encouraged me and now I do this for a living and I love it. And they are still encouraging me. So you never know, parents, tonight might be the night that is sparking something in your students to make a difference in the world through the art of music. So thank you and hope you enjoy the last song. It's a little toe tapper. Um, hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
You're dismissed. Have a great night. Be safe. <laughs>